Hey guys, let's talk about high purchase. So for high purchase is loans that are taken out in order to buy a certain article or good, right? So let's just look at the condition. The first condition, as you can see from this card, guys, the first condition is you must pay the deposit. So, and then a loan is taken out as you can see the orange part amount that is borrowed so a loan is taken out on the remaining balance and then simple interest is charged and then the loan is then paid back in monthly repayments monthly installments so so let's just look at a question now that will make you understand what do we mean by this? Okay, so let's look at this question. It says, Vuyo buys a computer. He pays 15% deposit and pays the rest off using higher purchase over three years. The interest charged is 18% per annum. Calculate the monthly repayments, right? Now, if you think about, as I said to you, I'm just going to draw that car for you so you remember that when we spoke about this, we said, okay, we'll have a deposit. And then after that, so you have a deposit and then the rest of the amount charges what? Simple interest. Okay, so let's just go ahead and first understand how much will the deposit be? So the deposit is equal to 12,000 rands times by, they said 15%, so it's 15 over 100. And then the answer you get is 1,800, right? Now, Buyo has already paid this 1,800 up front. So that means he's short of an amount that he, and that amount he has to take out a loan for. So A is equal to P, 1 plus I times N, because I remember they said that they actually charge simple interest on that. Right. Now I want to ask you, what will be P? Right. If you think about it, that um, we had this computer was 12,000, and then he paid 1,800. That means he was short of 10,200. That's when he went to the bank and he asked for a loan. So that means P now would be 10,200, right? So then you have one plus. Now, what will be the interest charged on this loan? It will be, of course, 18%, which is 0 0.18, right? And then times by how many years? Times by three years. Right, and then the answer you're going to get is 15,708. Now, from here, we are looking at paying this loan, not all at once as a lump sum, but in monthly payments. So, how many months are they giving him to actually pay off this loan? They're actually giving him three years. So, that should be 36 months. So, the monthly payments will be the loan amount the final loan amount divided by 36 and then the answer that you should get is equal to i got 436 rands and 33 cents if you think about it now it says to you that we are asking you that how much did Vuyo pay for the computer in total? So Vuyo had to go and tell his friends that, hey, for this computer, I paid 15708 You know, he would be lying, right? Because he did pay another amount before he actually started paying this 15708 And what is that amount? That is the deposit, you're right. So he paid the deposit. And then after that, he paid the loan amount. So how much was the deposit? It was 1,800 
plus the loan amount, which was 15708 That means Vuyo actually paid 17508 for this computer. Maya purchases a television for 17000 she uses a higher purchase loan with an interest rate of 11.5% per annum for a period of two years. The loan requires that a 12% cash deposit is paid. Right, the first question they ask us, how much is the cash deposit? So if you take a look at this at the top there, we see that we do have a cash deposit and it is actually 12%. So we go ahead and we work this out. We're going to say the deposit is equal to the 17,000 times by the 12%, which is 12 over 100. And then you get your answer as 2014, right? So she paid the deposit. Then for B, they're saying how much will Maya pay over the two years, excluding the cash deposit? Right, so let's see. The loan amount here is equal to the 17,000 minus the 2,040. That means Maya will have to go and take out a loan of 14,960. Then now that amount will, the bank will charge simple interest on. So we go ahead and we work this out. We'll have 14,960, then we'll have one plus, and then 11 comma five over 100, and then you times by two years. The answer you should have is 18,480. Right, so that is the amount. Guys, please take note. We work out the deposit, and then from there, we subtract it from the 17,000 to actually get the loan amount. And that we'll charge simple interest on. And that is now getting us to 18,480. Now we go ahead and we look at C. C says, if Maya repays the loan by equal monthly payments, how much will she pay each month? Let's go. That means we're going to say the monthly repayments are equal to the 18,480 and we're going to divide it by what? We are going to divide it by 24. Remember, how did we get 24? It's two years. So if we times by 12, we get 24 months. That is how we actually got this amount. So um, the amount that she will pay per month is 766 rands and 80 cents per month. Now for D, it says, in total, how much did Maya pay for the television set? Think about it, guys. It is very important. Um, it is actually what? It is the deposit, that cash deposit that she paid, plus the final loan amount, right? So that was 2,040 plus, how much did she pay final loan amount? 18,480, right? So now that means in total, she actually paid 20,440 rands and 80 cents. 